Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will cover the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and data science. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So artificial intelligence is the science that enable computers to think like humans. Basically, AI allows computers to imitate human intelligence and essentially do things that humans do. For example, AI can make decisions such as buy, sell stocks. It can also understand text, for example, such as, let's say, reading articles, for instance. And artificial intelligence as well could see or kind of perform visual perception tasks such as self-driving cars, applications, and also detecting faces too. So if you take a look at this graph in here, you will see that AI or artificial intelligence is again in the big umbrella. And within it, there is machine learning, deep learning, and data science kind of touch base on all of them, essentially. But again, AI, that's the broader field. It encapsulates machine learning, deep learning within it. All right, so what about machine learning? So machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that enable machines to improve at a given task with experience and without being explicitly told or programmed what to do. So please note that based on this graph here, that machine learning is a subset of that big umbrella, which is the artificial intelligence. And please note that all machine learning techniques are classified as AI. So if you're doing any kind of machine learning, that will be classified as AI. So because it's again encapsulated within AI. However, not all artificial intelligence could count as machine learning. For example, you could be developing an AI application in here that does not learn from experience and without being explicitly programmed. So you can actually go ahead and explicitly program a machine using rule-based algorithms to do specific tasks. And that would count as artificial intelligence and will not gonna count towards machine learning. And if you guys are a little bit confused about that, don't worry, I have a great example coming up in the next couple of slides. All right, so what about deep learning? So deep learning is a subset of machine learning that aims at imitating how our human brain works. So what you guys can see here is I have the deep learning as a subset of machine learning. And when it comes to deep learning, what we try to do is we try to understand how the human brain works and we try to mimic that or imitate that mathematically. So in our brain, we have hundreds of billions of neurons that communicate with each other with electrical and chemical signals and enable us humans to make decisions, to think, to be creative. And the overall idea of deep learning is we try to mimic essentially all these neurons mathematically in code. So what you guys could see here is I have our human brain, right? So that's our uh, biological neurons, essentially. And what we try to do is we try to develop what we call it an artificial neural network. So all these black dots that you guys could see, these are artificial neurons. We get many of these neurons. We connect them in a layered fashion. So we have like many layers. We connect them, all of them here. So we have different connections. Think of it as neural connections. And then we can essentially take that little artificial brain and teach it anything we want, really. We can use it, we can teach it to classify images, to uh, extract text data, to make decisions, to predict stock market, and many, many other applications. Please note that deep learning, that's kind of the um, hot field right now. And the key differentiator between deep learning and machine learning is that features from input data are automatically extracted. Hang on to that thought because I have a great example coming up in the next couple of slides. So the last field that we have is data science. So what, we guess, what you guys could see here is data science is essentially the science that aims at gaining useful information from data. And it kind of touches base on deep learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence as well. With data science, companies can essentially make better decisions. For example, a bank can analyze the customer data, 
identify which customers who have high credit score, and then they can tailor specific products and services to meet their needs. Okay, so let's take a look at a great example coming up next. All right, so I'm going to walk you guys through a great example that can show you the difference between machine learning, deep learning, and artificial intelligence. So the example here, I have it from uh, a great blog. It's entitled Understanding the Difference Between AI, ML, and DL Using an Incredibly Simple Example. And the uh, blog is by Gavita Regunath. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So I included a link for you guys here and let me open the article. So here is, here is the article here. Okay, so if you guys scroll to the bottom here, you should be able to see the example. Let's assume that I have a manufacturing facility and I wanted to classify these different uh, fruits, such as apple, bananas, oranges, into these different buckets, okay? Very, very basic example here. So first, let's cover artificial intelligence. And let's cover what we call it the rule-based category within artificial intelligence. So what I could do is, well, I can have stickers on all these different fruits, such as the apple and bananas and so on, and what I could do is I can have a scanner and that scanner can read the stickers or that label. And based on the numbers on these labels, I can then classify these fruits accordingly. So what we have done so far is, well, we developed an AI application and this AI application has been able to kind of imitate what humans are doing. However, a very important point here is what we have done is what we call it rule-based programming. We are essentially having the barcode scanned, so I define the barcode beforehand, and I'm just kind of doing comparison, just rule-based, if else. If you find the barcode equals to 100, this is an apple, put it in the apple category, and so on. So that's the first example related to AI. So what about, our, what, what about machine learning? So when it comes to machine learning in here, I wanted to kind of take it to the next level. So we decided to, instead of having labels associated with all these different fruits, I'm going to go ahead and extract features about all these different fruits. For example, I'm going to perform manual feature extraction about all these different fruits, such as their color, their shape, their size. For example, I can say, well, if you find the uh, fruit has color red, most likely it's an apple. If you find it, for example, let's say, uh, have a color yellow, that means it's a banana, and so on. And by doing that, I can take all these different fruits, I can develop basically a table of features, and I've been doing here feature extraction, and then I'm going to train a machine learning classification, essentially algorithm, to classify all these different fruits, all these different outputs. So now I have essentially took it to kind of to the next level. I don't need stickers anymore. I can go ahead, extract features, and based on these features, I can go ahead and make the classification accordingly. So what about deep learning? So deep learning, which is kind of one of my favorite, essentially, because it will essentially automate the entire process for us. Think of it as machine learning on steroids. I don't need to go and do the manual feature extraction. Now I'm gonna do the feature extraction and the classification in one-stop shop. I'm going to build that network, which is the artificial neural network that can mimic the human brain, as I mentioned before. I'm going to develop this network and I just feed it in the images. And essentially the network is going to be able to perform feature extraction automatically. I don't need to go and manually write, let's say the colors, manually write the dimensions and the size and shapes. I don't need to do any of that. I can just go ahead get that network, specify the architecture, and then train it, and it will automatically perform the feature extraction and the classification in one stop shop. And that's again, a great example that can show you the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. All right, so let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper into the differences between machine learning and deep learning. And I also wanted to show you the different categories within machine learning, such as supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned before, what differentiates deep learning and machine learning is the process of feature extraction. 
So when it comes to machine learning, and let's assume that here I'm trying to classify various images of, let's say, cats, dogs, and mouse, for example. Basically, what I could do is I can manually extract features about, let's say, cats. I can say the average cat has a distance between their eyes is, let's say, X. The, uh, they have, let's say, two ears, for example, stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and manually extract these different features. And then I'm going to train a machine learning classifier model to do the classification for me. It can tell me this is a cat, this is a dog, this is a mouse, and so on. However, when it comes to deep learning, the process of feature extraction just takes place automatically, which is super powerful. Again, when it comes to deep learning, I'm talking about artificial neural networks, and I'm basically going to connect or build that artificial brain. And then the artificial brain will extract features and do the classification in one stop shop in just one network that can do all of it. And then it can do the classification as well between cats, dogs, and mouse too. Okay, so what about machine learning? So within machine learning, there are three different classes or categories. So let me show you again the big picture. So we have AI. And AI is the science that enabled computers to mimic human intelligence. We had machine learning, which was a subset of artificial intelligence. And it essentially enables machine to improve at a given task through experience and without being explicitly told what to do, without being explicitly programmed. And we covered also a great example in the previous couple of slides. So when it comes to machine learning, we have three different categories. We have supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Within supervised, we have classification and regression, and within unsupervised, we have clustering. So when it comes to supervised learning, basically, this is kind of learning where I need labeled data. For example, I have an image, and I have a label corresponding to it. This image of a cat, and I have a label that says it's a cat associated with it. And this is what we call it supervised. I'm teaching it and I know the correct answer. Okay, I have the input and I have the correct answer. I have the output. Within supervised learning, I can do classification. And that's when I'm trying to classify different categories or classes. For example, images of cats, dogs, self-driving car. I need to stop or I need to accelerate decisions like this, for example. However, when it comes to regression, I need to predict a numeric continuous output. For example, when it comes to regression, I can predict revenue, for example, in dollars. Revenues, well, could take anywhere between zero and infinity. Like I can make $100 a day, I can make $50 a day, and so on. When it comes to unsupervised learning, these are training algorithms that doesn't have any labels. All I have is just a bunch of input data and then the algorithm in an unsupervised fashion. Again, I don't know the correct answer. I don't know the true answer. I just have a bunch of inputs. And then the algorithm on its own will start to or attempt to discover hidden patterns within my images or data on its own. And unsupervised learning is, again, major categories, what we call it clustering. And I have a couple of slides as well coming out to cover the differences. The last one is what we call a reinforcement learning. And that's when the algorithms start to take actions to maximize cumulative reward. Let's, let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper into the supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement. And that simply is going to conclude our video for today. So supervised learning, as I mentioned, we have labeled data. We have inputs and outputs. For example, here I have the bunch of images that belongs to the fashion class, okay? So here, for example, I have an image of a sneaker, and I also have the right label, which says that this image belongs to a sneaker category. We have another here image that says that this is an ankle boot. So now I have the class is ankle boot. Here I have a t-shirt, and the class is a t-shirt. And then finally, I have the bag, and the class here, or the correct class, is a bag as well. When it comes to unsupervised learning, as I mentioned, we don't have any labeled data. I just have input data. As an example, here I have a bunch of data points and the algorithm in an unsupervised fashion will start to go ahead and cluster those together. We'll say, well, all these bunch of, let's say, for example, crosses here with these different colors, they can be grouped together. And that's what we have here. 
all these different blue uh, rectangles are grouped as well together because they have similar features. We also have the green circles. And finally, we have the red stars as well. We can group them together. And that's what we call it unsupervised learning or data clustering. OK, the last type of learning is known as reinforcement learning. And reinforcement learning allows machines to take actions to maximize cumulative reward. Basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to place an agent in an environment. And then I'm going to ask the agent to try to make right decisions over time. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to teach the agent basically by reward and penalty. Let's take a look at example an example to show you guys the difference. Basically, I'm going to assume that I have a room. So my environment is a room. And I'm going to put a, let's say, a little kid in that room. So here I have the agent, and that will be my kid here. I'm going to put it in an environment, and that is going to be my room. And then I'm going to let the agent kind of explore that environment on its own. For example, if that baby or that kid went there and maybe touched a candle, he will get hurt. And that means it has been penalized. So he will be subtracted from that cum cumulative reward. He's going to lose essentially 10 points. And if that agent or that baby started to, let's say, maybe drink milk, for example, well, that's a good thing. So he will be rewarded for that action. And he will take, let's say, plus 10 points. So over time, through trial and error, that agent will learn about all the ins and outs of the environment and will start to make better decisions over time. And that's the idea of reinforcement learning. And these are three techniques or three strategies within machine learning where essentially we can develop many, many algorithms. Again, these are supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. All right. Okay. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, I really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you in the next video.